Shelter Mortgage, flexibility, professionalism, and service. Let us custom build a mortgage for you. Hello, Prudential Sales Executives for our video message of the week. All right, this week's message is entitled Telephone Tie-Down Techniques. Now, let me get specific here. I'm not talking about the calls that you're sending out. Today's message is about the calls that are coming into you. Regardless, it may be a floor call, it may be a sign call, it may be ad call. Regardless of how they got to you, I really want to make sure that you're able to tie down those calls and get as much business from those opportunities as possible. Let's begin. First, know your purpose. Now, I'm going to make this really easy. Anytime you're on the phone, you have one purpose. Get the appointment. Okay? I see this happen so often. We go in so many diff different directions and then we get frustrated that the goal we had okay, fell apart or the people ended up not building a rapport. Whatever the case may be, is, that's because you didn't stay focused on your purpose. The other stuff will come later, but goal number one, purpose number one, is get face to face and have that appointment. Now remember, okay, the goal also in that appointment is to get them to come to the office. It's always powerful if you get them to come into your office. Now I know that's not always possible because of logistics and distance, whatever the case may be is. But that's always goal number one. If you can't get them to come to the office for obvious reasons, then guess what? You gotta get that face to face. That's your purpose. Next, keep all guidelines handy. What do I mean by guidelines? Well, another name for guidelines really is script. Okay, that's really what guidelines are. They're a script. And why do we need guidelines in a script? Because guess what? When you have, let's say, specific questions that you want to ask about any buyer that's calling in on any property, it keeps the, the phone call flowing. It lets you relax and keep your thoughts straight because while you ask a question, they're answering it and you get comfortable again and it keeps, like I said, everything moving forward. Have those guidelines, have that script for you because I promise you, it will help you ask great questions and also keep you more comfortable. Next, create confidence with knowledge. Now this is so important, this point. How do you create confidence with knowledge? You know your product, okay? You know your products. You know numerous homes out there. You know, in a weird way, it doesn't have to even be a home that's actually gonna fit their needs, but what they get excited about is you're talking about inventory. No one gets excited about you going to the computer to search properties. What they get excited about is you've just taken 30 seconds and explained the backyard okay, the master bedroom and how awesome it is, okay, the neighborhood and how great it is, okay, the floor plan in a particular property, that's what gets people excited. And I will tell you, that will tie them down to meet with you, not, okay, because you had to do anything special, but the greed for the information and the excitement that you created when you talked about homes. Next, mirror client's voice on the phone. You know what? I want you to be excited and I want you to be excited about the inventory, but listen to their level of tone and the way they're speaking. It always works well when you match that the best that you can, mirror their voice. And last but certainly not least, and I put this on here twice because that's how important it is, remember your purpose. The phone is used to get the appointment. Step two you'll be able to present yourself, you'll be able to talk about all the other things that you wanna share. But step one, know your purpose, get the appointment. Have a great week, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.